Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. All right, so it's saying we need to extinguish the fire. Uh oh, problem is I did not bring a, a fire extinguisher, I don't believe. Oh, look at that. Dude. All right, that is officially really cool. All right, I see the uh, survivors. Oh, that plane is engulfed in flames. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and we are ready to take on some more missions. Now, there has been an update, and we will be going over said update. It's mainly to the building component of the game. They have added some new missions, too. Which, uh, I saw one of the missions, I saw a screenshot of it, and it's a fire mission, and it looks absolutely insane. So, we're gonna be going over some things of the update here. I also have something I wanna start off with here, and it's actually a mission. Uh, let's go over to the mission screen real quick. Alright, so a lot of people have been asking uh, to see a plane crash rescue, which I thought I read in the patch notes that they added one, which I don't see it. I, I might be overlooking it. Uh, they added some missions to the Sky Power Company, which maybe it's hidden in here. I see like uh, the, where's the new ones? I think it's the Wind Farm Distress Call is one of the big new ones here. And yeah, I, I'm really kind of actually confused as to uh, where the down plane is. But nonetheless, I did find some workshop missions and we have a crash plane mission. So we're going to go ahead and activate this. I'm really curious as to how people do this uh, because this could be amazing. So let's go ahead and spawn this in. All right, let's see. Where is the location? Both pilots have been confirmed dead. Oh, that's really dark. But there have been reports of a few survivors. Two known minor casualties, one major casualty. Get them back to me at the HQ and I will arrange medevac. All right, let's go ahead and activate that. All right, so we have a report of, oh my, it's 14 kilometers out. Okay, we need to go by helicopter here. So I've got a new helicopter I want to try out today. It's more like a law enforcement style helicopter, or I guess it's a law enforcement Coast Guard style helicopter. It's kind of odd, but it's very cool looking. Let's load it in real quick. All right, there she is. Oh, it is beautiful looking. All right, we really probably shouldn't stare at the helicopter. We should probably get to our mission here. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. We need to get out to that crash. Now, I wanna go ahead and say we are gonna cover the update. I'm gonna do this mission first and check it out. Uh, we will be going and trying some of the uh, new base building mechanics, and we'll be checking out a couple pre-built bases that I found on the workshop. So everything's linked down in the description if you wanna play with anything you see in the episode here today. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel and let's do this all right we're loading up getting ready to go here starting up engines there we go left right we got the gear or there's gear engine okay nav lights are on landing lights are on back lights are on let's go ahead and set the uh actually hold altitude real quick and there we go auto hover all right let's go ahead and get pulled out here that way i can uh figure this helicopter out oh boy all right be careful Wow, that's such an awesome paint scheme. Now, it did come with a, uh, you can see the stretcher that I've attached to the winch on the outside. Uh, there was a harness, but I went ahead and just went with the bed here. Uh, it says there's, uh, pretty critical injuries on some of these people, so probably would not be strapping them in a harness. So, let's go ahead and start heading out, and I'm gonna learn this helicopter a bit. We've got a ways to go. That is 14 kilometers. Uh, even by helicopter, that's, a uh, quite... Quite a ways, but this thing is fast, actually. Oh, yeah, this thing feels really fast. Beautiful. Man, I can't get over how good that paint job looks. Wow. All right, let's head out to the scene. I don't know if this is on an island or if this is out in the middle of the water and potentially that the, uh, the plane is sinking. All right, about 1.8 kilometers out. I have a feeling they did crash possibly into the island here. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. Kind of curious as to how this actually looks. All right, let's go ahead and prep everything. We got our, uh, let's get our alarms on. Let's go ahead and close the side doors. Or actually open the side doors. Oh, boy. Coming in a little low here. All right. Let's see. Looking for smoke. I don't know if it's on fire or not or what's actually happened here, but not seeing anything yet. They might be in the water beside the island. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, we're seeing smoke. Looks like a Coast Guard's possibly already on the scene in the water. Dude, that is so cool looking, and I haven't even seen the actual plane crash yet. 
Oh, and let's see if we can get... Okay, let's get up on some altitude here. Uh, it's going to be on the other side of this first rock. How do you find the one rock to hit out here? All right, so it's saying we need to extinguish the fire. Uh oh problem is I did not bring a, a fire extinguisher, I don't believe. Oh, look at that! Dude! All right, that is officially really cool. All right, I see the uh, survivors. Oh, that plane is engulfed in flames. Uh, okay, so we got a couple boats already in the water. I'm assuming I can get out and use those. Uh, potentially, they have firefighting uh, capabilities. All right, we need to find a place to get in low. We need to get the survivors. We could do a maintaining altitude portion, but there's a lot of people in the water. That's going to be a lot of winches up and down. All right, we got about 14 minutes to extinguish the fire. And now yeah, that thing is broken apart and everything. That is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen in Stormworks. Be sure to go download this mission. I'll have it linked in the description. All right, we got a little bit of time before that plane explodes. We need to go ahead and get the survivors out first. I'm not as worried about the plane if we can get uh, them taken care of first. Let's go ahead and we got our altitude hold on. All right, let's go ahead. Man, we really need to touch down. I'm not going to be able to winch them person by person and get that done in time, I don't believe. Oh, this is an awkward spot. Can we get down pretty low here? All right, we're going to come down low, low, low. All right, we're stabilizing right now. I need to go back a little bit. All right, come on. Come on, and... We pretty much have touchdown. This is about as close as we're going to be able to get. All right, we need to get out. Wow, this is so bright because of the fire. That is insane looking. All right, let's go ahead. We need to get moving here. Let's just get everybody aboard. Uh, we can always transfer them over to the ship, but we need to get to fighting this fire, too. All right, I've got everybody. Uh, we're going to load up the last guy here. Oh, this would have been a good uh, mission in multiplayer. Hopefully that gets kind of fixed soon. All right, so everybody looks aboard. Actually, nobody looks silly this time. It looks like there's actual, uh, I guess you could say there's custom people on this mission. Everybody looks like uh, actual plane crew and stuff like that. Nobody's wearing shark heads or anything. Alright, so all the civilians are aboard, so let's go ahead and pull up from the fire here. Okay, so this portion of the mission is pretty much done. Man, I really wish there was a place I could touch down and just have these people away. Uh, we need to get to the fire. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, it would have been nice if one of those boats would have had a landing pad on it. Hmm, okay, I need to find a place to touch down. Maybe on the other side of this island over here. Looks like there's possibly a flat spot I can land the bird on. Okay, so I'm going to touch the bird down over here. I know there's a supposedly critically injured people, but there's not a timer on that portion. There's a timer on the uh, the extinguish the fire portion. So uh, for the sake of the mission, we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Ideally, yes, you would probably be taking these people straight to uh, uh, some sort of medical care. All right, let's go ahead and shut down engines. All right, we're going to need to actually go over. You guys just stay right here. Uh, everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna go ahead and head over to the fireboat and see if we can actually use those. I'm assuming we can. All right, so we're aboard. All right, let's go ahead. How do we get into this? Is it through? Okay, it's through here. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and open this door. That is a really kind of a funky door. All right, let's go ahead and hop into the helm. All right, let's fight this fire. Let's go an engine on. Uh, towing mode, hydrofoil. Okay, there's the foils. Where is our pumps? I see pumps on this. Okay, actually the cannon's going to be five. How do I move the cannon? Okay, so there's the cannon movement. All right, let's go and get close. I really hope I can get a water stream up there. I believe I can. Let's go and start aiming over there. I'm assuming this thing's already pumping, so let's go ahead. Let's go six, five. There we go. All right. Oh, that's got a really, really big stream on it. All right. Let's go ahead and start to hit that. Okay, we're putting water on the fire right now. All right, we're going to pull around to the other side. I think it just, uh, my stream is going everywhere. <laughs> that sounds kind of wrong. Uh, we're going to go over to this side, though. I feel like I can get closer to the fire over here. There we go. That's where I want to be. All right, let's make that go up there. All right, well, I want to hit that plane directly. Oh, this thing doesn't have full 360 degrees rotation. All right, let's go and back off a little bit. There we go. All right, just confirming, we are hitting the fire. It's gone down a little bit, but it is still absolutely intense. Uh, I don't know if I'm hitting it just in the right spot. I'm not really getting a good indication uh, of this thing really dying down. Let's go ahead and start hitting it over here. Come on, fire. I'm going to need a little cooperation from you. 
We got six minutes left here, and it doesn't really look like we made much of a dent. All right, so we're going to move over real quick. We've got this one pretty much focused into the fire. We're going to leave that pump running. We're going to go over to the other boat. Uh, I want to see maybe there's a pump on the front of that. We can try to hit this from two different angles, but it really just doesn't seem like we're doing a thing to it right now, and it's just a constant stream, so uh, it's a little strange. Oh, I'm watching the second stream. It's going in and out. Like, it hits it. I think it's kind of with the waves here and the bouncing. All right, so I think we're in position here. Uh, do I activate the water cannon from inside of here, or do I need to go... Oh, is that a side water cannon? Alright, we'll stop here. This will work. I feel like we need a whole fire brigade to do this one, huh? Let's go ahead and get into here. Okay, water pump's active. Alright, come on. Let's go ahead and start pushing this one out. Oh, okay. Alright, so that water... We got two water cannons on this fire right now. We gotta be doing some sort of damage to it. Like, this is just... It's actually quite amazing this thing's not going out. All right, here we go. Ten seconds until impact. I don't know if I should stand back or what's going to happen. I think it's just going to fail the mission for me. Five, four, uh, three, two, one. Am I going to get a kaboom here? Zero. All right, nice job. The fire is under control. It, is it? But But is it, though? All right, you know what? I'm gonna take that as a yes. So we're gonna leave these boats out here. Let's go get in the helicopter. That's really strange. It's almost like you weren't supposed to put the fire out. It's almost like, hey, just put some water on it and get it under control, not put it out, and let's go rescue the remaining survivors, which apparently I'm supposed to take to the HQ, which is kind of new. I don't recall uh, ever doing that. Uh, do keep in mind these are custom missions, so maybe some of the mission objectives aren't quite like the uh, the real game. Alright, well, we're gonna go home knowing that we did at least rescue everybody from the flames. So let's go ahead and close that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get going back to base. That was cool, though. That was uh, just one of the coolest things that I think I've seen setup-wise. Uh, we definitely need to do some more of these custom missions. Like I said, let's hopefully uh, find a sinking ship one. I think that could be cool playing the person who actually rescues those people. Opposed to always going down with the boat. Alright, so now that that mission's over with, I'm going to call it a success. We're ready to go ahead and head out to the uh, the base building islands. And we're going to check out the changes they've done with the builder. And we've got a couple pre-built bases that we're going to look at. And I'm really excited for that. But first, we're going to go ahead and take a submarine over there because why not? We have a German U-boat here. This is cool. It says it has torpedoes. And I don't know as in like... Do they fire or it's just torpedoes on the inside that are loose? I'm not really sure. Uh, we're going to check this out though real quick. Plus we'll uh, arrive in the islands with style. Alright, so the door just opened up automatically. I think it's on some sort of sensor. Uh, so if I stand right here. Oh, well that's a first. I don't think I've ever seen uh, that do that. Alright, so. Oh, this is tight in here. Oh, I'm not a fan. Alright, let's go ahead and go down here all right so what do we got here we got controls auto depth there's your target depth anchors over here there's your periscope okay what's back here uh, these boats are always really odd to me how they're set up or the subs are it's just all these tight little compartments really claustrophobic all right so you know let's go ahead and go back up to the top here yeah this is the first time i've actually seen the doors on sensors like this. Uh, that's kind of cool. Alright, so let's see. What do we got here? There's a tower spotlight. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights in here. Actually, let's do the red lights. Alright, unlock external lights. Guess we can turn those on. Let's see. Slow. Oh, there's the uh, engage slow torpedo speed. Okay. Fire torpedo and fire harpoon. That's cool. Auto control, fill ballast, blow ballast, raise anchor. Lower anchor. Where's the uh, where's the Ford? That's uh, prop stabilizer. Stabilizer engines. Let's go ahead and turn that. Uh, okay, that didn't actually pop up. Okay, ignition. Those are on. So if we throttle forward. Okay, we are moving. Okay, we got that. There's a bunch of magnet locks there. All right, let's just get here. Does this thing turn like a normal boat? Or is there a special? Oh no, it turns just fine. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and throttle up even more. Let's go full speed. This thing's pretty fast, actually. 
Uh, are we already... Are we submerging? No, it's just kind of bouncing. We'll actually make it go under here in a second. I want to get in a little deeper water. Plus, I want to aim towards the... Uh, we're going to the large boat island, which is about six kilometers out. All right, large boat island is directly in front of us. So I'm assuming... Let's go ahead and start to fill the ballast here. And... Keep going. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh, we might have gone... Maybe that red line's our target line. Would that stabilize this? Okay. All right, so we're kind of dragging there. So let's go ahead and go, let's go lower here. There we go. All right, and then let's stabilize it uh, there. Okay. So yeah, we've dived. Uh, we're not like really close to the ocean floor. It says it lags quite a bit once it gets right to the bottom. So we're gonna stay about right here. We're full throttle. We should be good to go. All right, so I figured while we're down here, before we get to the island, we're going to go ahead and test out one more feature of this U-boat, and that's going to be firing torpedoes. So we're going to go ahead and hit the one key. I'm assuming... Where's the tubes at? Is that... Is that them? I think that's them there. All right, so let's go fire torpedo one. Uh-oh. 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 We might have jammed the torpedo. Uh, oh, there it goes. Nope. Oh, there they go. Whoa! What the heck? Wait, did it just go out of water? Hold on. I think we need to... Let's go up before we fire the other one. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's blow the ballast real quick. Ah, uh, we're surfacing. Oh, that looks so epic. Oh, that's incredibly cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get ready to fire the second one here. Uh, let's make sure we're all the way up. We're still going. Uh, keep blowing it. There we go. All right, so we've surfaced. Okay. Leveled out. Let's go ahead and fire torpedo number two. And three, two, one, go. All right, it's released. It takes a second to get out of the tube. It's like it gets kind of stuck. And then, okay, I can see it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that is incredible looking. It's just staying on the surface. Yeah, we need some destruction physics here in Stormworks. Could you imagine actually having explosives on that? You could hit a ship. All right, so we have arrived at the wonderful destination, the large boat island. Let's go ahead and shut this thing down. There we go. All right, kill that. All right, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and hop out, and I want to show you guys some of the new changes to the builder here. All right, so welcome to the new workbench. So you have an actual distinguished like difference between the two now. So that's the vehicle one. This is the structure one. So one thing that's changed, and I don't know why it spawned my U-boat in here, but it did. Uh, one thing that you can do, and this is really big, especially for the uh, the actual base building. It was really awkward building in this mode because you really couldn't tell where everything was. Even it has the arrow showing where it's aiming, but that didn't tell you like what sides it aiming out of. So now you can go to worldview mode and this shows you the complete build area and you can actually build on the island here. This makes structure building so much easier. Don't ask me why the U-boat's here. It looks a little strange. It's built into the island now. But anyways, let's go ahead and spawn in a base. All right, so I'm pretty excited to see this. So we got a large boat base. So if we click this, look how it forms it in there now. You can actually see they built a dock here. Oh, that is cool. All right, let's go ahead and spawn this. So it's like easy to place your own bases in now. Check that out. That is so cool. You got like a little, what, watchtower there? Uh, a couple engines. What's this? Uh, Coast Guard. Oh, you got an alert signal. That's cool. All right, so we got like a little uh, workspace over here, a little hangar. It's not a very big base, but... Uh, now when you spawn the vehicles, you'll actually have like a dock here. And that's why I was a little confused when this first came out, this update, and I saw like the, the islands didn't have like an actual good looking dock. Well, it's because you have to actually place your own down. Like the rocks they provide. Yeah, you can see that he's actually built blocks all the way down that. That is cool. So, pretty much any structures that you can think of are probably going to start appearing in Stormworks. Say you want an uh, Oceanside Mansion. I've got one of those actually now. Huh, what's this? kind of curious about this. Is that the... Okay, that's the tower hatch there. I don't think the hatch opened. Uh, no, that hatch is definitely still closed. Huh, that's weird. Let's see, is there anything else? So, you got like a little rest area. Does this have a bed in it? Or this is just a... Oh, this is like a workbench area. There is a, a small bed there. You get a light... 
And got like a little blowtorch, which I think we're eating some food here. I'm not really sure. That's cool though. All right, I've got a couple more that we can pull out. Oh, look, there's a basketball goal over here. All right, so say we don't like this base. Say we want to spawn in a new one. We'll just go over here. We got a, another large boat island base thingy. And oh, this looks cool. Hold on, let's go and spawn this in. Uh, this is a pretty big hangar. So I'm assuming you can probably store some vehicles. Looks like it's got, oh yeah, it's got a little railing system in here. That is awesome. Let's turn on the lights real quick. Got like a little work area back here. Nice area for the dock. Uh, what is that? Is that... Oh, that's actually really genius. So you can uh, put magnets on the side or even just the winching system and you can attach your boat to the island. So it's got a big work area, a little covered area over there. That is awesome. Oh boy. But, you know what? It even gets better. Say you don't want anything related to the Coast Guard. Say you just want your own little mansion. Let's go and spawn one of those in. There we go. We just spawned in a house. Now, obviously, this house wasn't made for this island. Uh, I don't know which island this house is exactly for. Uh, you can see it doesn't set here. Can we select this? I don't know if we can select this whole structure and move it down. Is there a move? Uh, there might be one. I'd have to look and see how to do that to set it on the ground. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. It should still set. It's not loose. Yeah, so if I were to find the right island, we could sit here and have a little oceanside mansion. Let's go and check this thing out. This looks really, really awesome. How does this thing work? Is this actual door handles? Oh, that is a first. It's not a button. It's actually a, a handle. So if I were to go boom, huh. All right, well, you got your little uh, oceanside mansion here. Is there any lights? It doesn't look like it's furnished. It looks like it's waiting for you guys to come in here and put some furniture. Is there lights in here? Uh, yeah, it's definitely empty. I didn't know this was empty. Uh, let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick. It's a very beautiful setup, though. I really like this uh, big window facing in the front. Uh, so, yeah, you've got, like, bedrooms in here. Uh, maybe this is another bedroom over here. Uh, let's see, maybe, this is probably the master bedroom here, it's like a walk-in closet, and probably a bathroom right here, and then we can walk out on the, uh, little private deck here, that is cool, so yeah, that's just really changed a lot of things, and that's gonna encourage me to actually go in and build my own base, because I didn't like the view at first, like, that was a major change that needed to happen, uh, because that first default view, not being able to really see where it's setting at on the island and what it looks like blended into the island, really, really bugged me. But yeah, let's go ahead and go back over here, and let's get rid of this real quick. Oh, they keep updating this game, it keeps getting better. And that's not even it, we didn't cover some of the new missions, we'll probably have to do that next episode. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up here for this episode. We did a pretty cool plane crash mission, plus we covered some of the uh, updates here. Mainly, it's the uh, the view update, being able to see. Plus, you can do that in the vehicle mode, too, say you want to build a boat like this. Uh, I don't see as much of a change for builders that way, but as far as the structure building, having this worldview is huge. But yeah, we'll probably get out to the new missions here very soon. I will do some more Sinking Ship Survival also. Multiplayer's on a little bit of a holding pattern because of some of the updates have kind of really screwed with it a bit. And it's been really hard for us to record. We tried a recording the other day. We had like an hour session. And about 45 minutes into it, it got so desynced. We couldn't even tell like what the other player was doing. So we'll try to work on that because I do want to bring some more multiplayer to you guys. I know you guys enjoy that a whole lot. But yeah, Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Stormworks, and we will see you guys next time.